with his head! Jeez. The Ethics of the Public Funding of Libraries, Pagemaster Edition. There's no doubt that the 1994 film The Pagemaster is a timeless classic. It's a film that illustrates the joys of reading and wonder to be found in libraries around the world. Currently, 16.5 thousand public libraries are peppered throughout the United States. These libraries connect people to free information, books, films, and computer access. Libraries empower all peoples to better themselves intellectually. Unfortunately, many libraries struggle to maintain funding and proper resources. Is the continued public funding of libraries ethical? Let's dive into the world of PageMaster to find out. Hey look, it's an adorable Macaulay Culkin portraying the character of Richard, a neurotic kid who fears his own shadow. While out buying nails for his treehouse, Richard gets caught in an explosive thunderstorm and takes shelter in his local library. There, a creepy old librarian forces a library card upon him. Richard then magically finds himself in a trippy land of anthropomorphic books and classic literary characters. The library literally provides Richard with the ability to explore new worlds and adventures in a not-so-subtle nod to their real-life purpose. Speaking of real life, libraries, normally funded through local taxes, are often on the front lines for budget cuts. The 2008 financial crisis so severely impacted the funding of libraries that the revenue gained and expenses incurred by the state library administrative agencies has still never recovered from the precipitous drop. In a now-deleted op-ed by Panos Mordukatis, it was proposed that private stores like Amazon take over the role of library management. Similar discontent against the public library system was sounded by President Trump when he attempted to cut federal funding for libraries. Are libraries too costly? Do they still provide value in today's rapidly changing digital world? Libraries are bastions for intellectual freedom. Unfettered access to films, books, technology, and learning resources means that everyone in the country has the active ability to better themselves. Richard, for example, used the books and the film to learn more about himself as a person and how to better cope with the world around him. From an economic standpoint, low literacy drives gigantic inefficiencies in the U.S. healthcare system. The more informed people are, the smarter they can be about their health after all. Public libraries provide internet access to people who would otherwise be unable to connect with the outside world. Educational courses, such as those on basic computer skills, help older members of society get up to speed. The internet access afforded can be invaluable to the homeless who may have no other method to apply for jobs, sign up for benefits, or take online courses. As evidenced by Richard, libraries offer an escape from the elements, especially for homeless men and women who gain additional access to a clean bathroom, a source for fresh drinking water, and an endless supply of entertainment. Money has little use within the actual walls of a library. While library cards provide access to knowledge and wisdom to all peoples, in a library, every man is truly king and every Every woman truly queen. The card empowers everyone in a community equally by giving virtually unlimited purchasing power to a huge array of books, comics, DVDs, Blu-rays, and magazines. Cardholders also have the ability to borrow ebooks, audiobooks, and other media via apps such as Libby or Hoopla. Rather than crumbling from technological disruption, libraries seem to have embraced the digital world. As a shining beacon for unity in America, people of every color, gender, sexual orientation, age, income level, and disability are all welcome into the library. According to Pew Research, two-thirds of Americans say that closing their local library would have a major impact on their community. Libraries are well known for being cultural hubs and centers for community gatherings. Had drinks and food not been banned from libraries, it's possible that Starbucks might have a major competitor in the late night student scene. Is the public funding of libraries ethical? Hell yes it is. If it were up to us, we'd give out 16,500 blank checks. At the end of the day, the library is free. Take advantage of it. Depending on how robust your library selection is, you may even find that you don't have enough time to use your paid subscriptions. Libraries lead to worlds of adventure, fantasy, horror, and more. In a public climate filled with misinformation, libraries serve as sources for truth and factual education. Help your local branch receive more funding by signing up for a library card. The more card-carrying library members a branch has, the more easily it can justify maintaining its budget. And remember, if you ever grow tired of your old books and DVDs, you can always donate them to the local library. So, what do you think? Is the public funding of libraries ethical? Let us know in the comments below, click subscribe, and let us know what public issue we should tackle next.